baby, 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 baby. House of Frankenstein, baby. Action packed October. Oh, we got so much cool stuff. Mail galore. I don't know. We have to might do like mail day or mail shows. Do we got to do the things? We got the, the mail. The love the ladies bring the mail. And so you get all the boxes and all this stuff showing up. It's absolutely lovely. And we're going to get another more chainsaws. Chainsaw for the chopping the tree. Man, I need the big joints. I need big joints. I got to chop down the tree. This is about, about this big with enough weed so I can roll weed and smoke some weed so I can read my books. Because I need to smoke at least two joints to smoke my, to read my Greek book. And then I was good. And I drink my little coffee. I got this, you know, I got the French press. And I make the special thing with the garam masala. I got the ginger. I got the cardamom. And I put the sugar and the spice on it. And then I nail it. And I hit it with the hitter. Like this. And I got the foamer on it. And it hit it with the thunder and lightning. Boom! And then the oxidizer thing. And you try to sip it, it tastes great. Absolutely wonderful. And you make that all day long. And you just blaze a little bit of weed. Two puffs, baby. Two puffs, you're really good. So, before we get to the wonderful letters from Greece, we're going to go on a very special, very special episode. Blackwater, cheers, special episode. I was a Frank Zion. Teddy Bates, Hail Satan. Shout out to Lady Babylon. And remember, for everyone for the new thing, ketchup. Would you like ketchup with that? So this is ketchup and tomatoes. That's right. Tomatoes and ketchup. Because the people are confused. You know, ketchup, tomatoes. Tomatoes, ketchup. And what's important in this, because the, the cult of the crow people, they're so friggin' lazy. These are beautiful little tomatoes. Look at this. Yellow tomatoes. Red tomatoes. Orange tomatoes. Some sort of like... I, I would call them purple tomatoes, but they're not purple. They're kind of just like brown tomatoes. Brown tomatoes, baby. Special tomatoes. All of them. But people were so confused. And because they're in the cult of the crow and they don't want to do any work. And I've already done enough work for a dozen people. That's why I'm running like Herculean feats get done because I did the work so much. When the people took advantage of me and took took made themselves rich off of my labor. On some fucking trickery shit. Because that's the cult of the crow to trick you to get you to do the work. And they'd be like, yeah, we had to take all the fees and take the taxes. And we get to make all the money, but you don't. Because it's a it's an oligarchy caste system. Feudal caste system. And they stole everything and they pretend, oh, but it was ours from before. Because we're half monkey tree fuckers. And this is ours because we live in the very Darwin of the squirrel. And Einstein was really smart enough. And I get to keep what I stole, and you're allowed to have it back. <laughs> so you got to teach these people that are terrified because they're in the cult of the crow, but they never worked a day in their lives. Is All you got to say is, why are you doing this? Would you like ketchup with that? Now, in most situations, you're going to give somebody probably these small packs. Because that's what they give you at those sort of fast food things. Or even the to-go things, if you have condiments or whatever it is. Seldom is it going to be where you actually serve. I don't even know people. Do they do service? I was a bartender for a while. I also did, you know, because we had a restaurant too. So I would serve too. Not, there's nothing wrong with serving. Bring some pieces of food. They need something. Bring a thing. What do they need? Get some things. You know, man. People, you take care of these people. You do the right thing with people, man. They will shy you with $100 bills, man. Boom. You make sure that the cognac is warm and the sniffer or whatever the thing is. And you want the, well, you, they want the special thing. You know, they want the, you know, the Monte Carlo, whatever the, the specialty coffee is, whatever it is. Make it nice for them, they're going to make sure it's good for you. But yeah, the ketchup, that's when you're going to have a thing. Maybe the restaurant's got, you know, like a ketchup thing that they put their own special ketchup in. Or like some of the big places, they got the dispensary. So yeah, this is the thing. So all you people that are terrified of working, remember your new catchphrase because it's about going and doing your things. There's no more stealing from people is, would you like ketchup with that? Now, that's the unhealthy way because it's probably full of sugar. What you can do at home 
is you can go, I would like tomatoes with that. To all the kids out there say, Mom, I want some tomatoes. And what I used to do with my daughter is I give her a plate full of vegetables. Everyone go ask her, so plate full. She'd be like, why don't I get some, and you know what? But she eat them. So you get the cucumbers out. You get the tomatoes out. You get some peppers out. And you chop them all up. And you just, and you just leave them there. It's so, I know. Boom. Call up the newses and be like, what? You just, you didn't, you didn't have to put no heat on it? You didn't have to fucking do some funkery things? No. It was just vegetables on a plate. Tomatoes. Now, you can go gourmet. You can go upscale. You can go way up top. You know what I do? I cut the tomato once. I cut the slice of cucumber. Slice it. And I sprinkle. I hit it. Whew. With a little sprinkle. A little sprinkle of salt. Bam. A little sprinkle of pepper. Bam. Now, here. Check this out, man. You can go. I'm telling you this. Whew, five star, baby. You can go and get like the mix up salt or the like the, 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 you know, like the Italian combo or you can get like a, you know, a steak seasoning thing. Or you can just get, check this out. If you're growing tomatoes, you can grow a little bit of oregano or sage or basil. And you can put that shit on there too. And bam, you can put dried or you can put fresh. I'm just saying, just saying, that's what the, for the kids, for the kids. So, all right, I know it's a lot of people. It's, it's, it's way too much. Complicated, complicated. You need pens and paper. Get your pens and paper. Write some, take some notes. Take notes, baby. It's okay. It's okay to write stuff down. This is good. It's good for everybody. So, again, in the situation, call these, you know, fucking left tars, all these people are going to lose their fucking cool because the pedophiles are all going to go away. The pedophiles are going to get hung because we're not playing no more. So pet pet files and no fucking clown shit's done. Stop hurting the kids. But here, and this thing, because you actually might have to go work for a day, is you're going to come in a situation, and if you do good service, then you know what, well, that's your job. Just don't be afraid of it. So just ask them, would you like ketchup? And there is a metaphor in there, too. Don't worry about it. It's next week's thing. It's too complicated for the people. Just follow the line. Ketchup first. Would you like ketchup with that? And then say, don't be, I know the fucking, you know, like, obviously, Trump even said that at the place at the McDonald's because the girl only gave one fries. You don't got to be cheap. Give them three or four fucking ketchups, man. Come on, man. It's worth, like, fucking two pennies. Give them lots of ketchup. Six ketchups. Leave the whole jar there if they want to. You know, like, check it out. Maybe the person that's like ketchup. Some of them people, they put so much sugar in the coffee, the spoon stands up. Not me. I'm sweet enough as it is. That's what the ladies say. Been at home. I know. Going. It's going Boom. It's going so good, baby. Would you like tomatoes with that? So again, out there in the, in, in the streets, baby, would you like ketchup with that? At home, would you like tomatoes with that? And then this is where the magic comes in. Whew. Cornucopia of healthiness. Bam, you can put a little cucumbers and peppers, some tomatoes on a plate. <sighs> serve, baby. On one, served. And then I said, if you really want to go to the top, you can hit it with the blade once. Hit it with the blade once. Just cut it. Cut it sideways. Cut it this way. And just sprinkle them with a little bit of salt. Bam. Little pepper. A little dried oregano. A little something. A little, little Greek spice. A little Italian spices. Bam. And that is history. And that's cooking with fire, baby. Teddy Bates on the cooking show. Putting Gordon Ramsay out of business, baby. That's how you do it. Putting a lot of these motherfucking allegorical motherfuckers out of business. Go on, I, mean, I know he does a good thing. I didn't mean, go to a chain restaurant, but I'm making a joke too. But yeah, that's all you got to do. Is teach people how to feed themselves. So, tomatoes versus ketchup. That was the episode. Pretty cool stuff. And anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's to try and stay healthy for these people. Rain man in the house. Tomatoes and ketchup. Baby, Mr. Crowley, what went wrong in your head? Oh, Mr. Crowley, did you talk to the dead? <laughs>
Uh, I really like the lyrics uh, on Mr. Crowd too. It's good. And you scattered the afterbirth, Mr. Crowley. Rain Man in the house, baby. Making it happen. Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath. House of Rock and Roll, baby.